Hi everybody, this is Mike from We Build Stuff, and today I'm gonna to show you a really quick way to convert almost any black and white or silhouette or some sort of image file to a vector image to get it ready for CNC plasma cutting. I'm gonna be using one piece of online free software or website and a free vector drawing software. So let's go on this. First piece of software I'm going to be using is called vectorization.org. Over here, if you type that in, you can see it in my URL, vectorization.org. I can basically put almost any image file into here and convert it to an SVG, EPS, PDF, TXF, something that will be a vector image. So let's say I want to make a CNC plasma design of a horse. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and type in horse tell I've done this before, horse silhouette. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to find just a random picture of a horse that is free. Oh, here we go. Something off eBay. They probably took that themselves. Okay. This image file here, if I go right click image, open image, a new tab, it's going to show me something here. Now this is showing up as a web P file. We can try this. I'm going to copy the URL, right click, copy, move over to my vectorization.org website, right click and paste in that URL link. I'm gonna do my output format as an SVG because that's a nice common one that works with my vector software. Press start, let's see if it works. An unexpected error happened, probably because it was a WebP and not a JPEG. You'll see here that it says supported file types, JPEG, PNG, PDF, JPEG. Let's try to find a different horse. Scroll down. Let's find another horse. Amazon. I bet they stole it from somewhere too. Right click, open image. This one shows up as a JPEG. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I could download the image as well, but let's try just copying the URL. Right click, copy. Back over to my tab here with vectorization.org. Let's get rid of this eBay one. Right click, paste. Turn it to an SVG. Press start. Let it process. If you want to help this website out, click on those ads or, or don't. All right, here we go. I have an SVG file. I'm going to just click that. It's going to download. And here I have it. I'm going to right click on that. Open with. Let's see if I can find it. It's not under my recommended app. So I'm going to just cheat a little bit and open it up right in Inkscape. Inkscape, I'm using an older version, but it will still work. I'm going to press open. I'm going to find it in my libraries. Where's my downloads? And there's my SVG file. 61VWXQZRNL.SVG. And I have a horse. Well, for some reason it does this. I'm going to maximize that. Here's my horse image. It was a JPEG and now it's an SVG. Now, it still looks the same to most of you. But if you zoom in by pressing control up or down on the mouse, I can zoom in and see how smooth those lines are. That's a sweet looking horse. Now, if I press the middle mouse button on my mouse and drag around, it lets me move it. Move. No, this is a horse. It's more of an A. If I double click on that line, you'll see that, wow, look, I've got these little dots. These are called nodes. The nodes are things that you can modify and move around. For example, if I decided randomly that, you know what? I don't want a horse. I'd rather have a camel. I can go and create a camel doesn't have to be a great looking camel, but it's a camel nonetheless. I can go and move each of these little nodes, grab those handlebars and change the curves. You know what? A camel's boring. I want to make a unicorn horse. There we go. Perfect. You know what? Let's make a pregnant unicorn camel horse. Let's just, there we go. Perfect. It's, it's almost as if nature, no, this isn't working. There we go. Pregnant unicorn camel horse. Fantastic. Now I've got my SVG file. I've edited it to my heart's content. And I just want to double check that there are no weird unjoined dots. So far you see all these nodes that are all around it. I can double check my layers. Layer shortcut is shift control L. Now there's nothing on my layers here right now. I want to move this image to my layers. Select it all with the bounding box select tool thing. Just, just, it's F1. That's your shortcut. Right click on it and I should be able to move it to layer. Well, I don't have a layer yet. Let's create one. Let's call it horse unicorn. Oh, I can't spell unicorn. Prego. Fantastic. 
add. Now it's on my layers. I can turn it on. No, it's not even on the layer. That's okay. Let's try something else. Select the whole sucker. It's not working. Select it. Copy. I'm going to press delete to show that I've copied it. Click my layers, right click, paste. Perfect. It is now actually on my layer. I'm learning Inkscape this week and I'm doing my best to pass it around. This horse is absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to send it to the plasma cutter. Before I can send this horse to the plasma cutter, I need to figure out what size I'm doing it. Here it's reading up in pixels. See that PX? That's no good. The plasma cutter doesn't read pixels. It reads inches. In my case, I'm going to make my horse roughly five inches tall. It looks like it's been squashed. How do you prevent your horse from getting squashed? Well, let's start by undoing it. If life was that easy, imagine. I'm going to select the whole thing. And up here next to it, it says H and W for height and width. There's a little lock. When locked, change both width and height by the same proportion. Lock that. I'm going to change the height to five fantastic i now have a miniature horse unicorn pregnant camel thing beautiful i'm going to press file save as and now save it as a dxf file where are you dxf i think you're around the middle there it is desktop cutting plotter dxf i'm going to call it horse unicorn prego and so that i remember what height it is i'm going to press h5 because that's the height that i made it press save I'm going to leave my base units on inches, leave everything here, and press OK. Now it looks like it's taking its time, and that's fine. Now I'm back again, and now I have a flash drive. I'm going to insert that into the computer because the files are in the computer. Here's my horse unicorn prego. I'm going to right click and press copy, copy. I'm going to find my little plasma cutter stuff, plasma files, and I'm going to copy paste it in. Control V it is. Fantastic. Horse unicorn prego. I'm now going to eject. Fantastic. This device is safe to remove. All right, there's my file. I have my flash drive plugged into this old desktop Windows 7 machine. I'm going to drag it over to the documents folder because I find it works better running off here. I'm using a program called SheetCan. I'm going to right click, press new part, and now it's going to hopefully load my file if I can find it. There we go, it's waking up. There's my horse unicorn prego H5 for the height of five inches. Double click on it or press open wait for it to load i want it to go in the bottom left corner press ok look at this glorious thing the red lines around it mean it's all good and we're going to be doing an outside cut i'm going to change my job options the height is five perfect the length is about there now unfortunately I'm going right to the edge of this, and that's okay. This is just a test piece. Now we're gonna be using 10 gauge steel or eighth inch steel, or you can also call it 0 0.125 thickness of material steel. It's just the cheapest stuff I've got. I'm going to then go up here to operation, plasma cut, find my layer, horse unicorn prego, and I'm doing an outside offset, which means the plasma cutter is gonna cut around my lines instead of inside my lines outside fantastic i've already got this set up for 10 gauge 65 amps 125 volts shielded because that's the setting that works with this metal and this machine it's tool number t6 for mine 160 ipm or inches per minute for my feed rate i'm going to leave my lead in and lead out on arc and about a quarter inch or 0.25 press ok and it will generate the path you can see where it's going to start and then it's going to go that way and do a little cut and go here and go there and basically do the thing. I'm going to press P and now I'm turning this into G code. It's a tap file or G code. Press save. Next thing I need to make sure that my machine is actually turned on. This is the fast cut elite series icon four by four plasma cutting table. I already have my metal ready. Oops, I just stepped on some. I've got my metal ready. You can see that it is five inches and I'm gonna start my cut in this bottom corner and hopefully go here. Our length this way is 11, things should fit just fine. 
I need to quickly line up the tip with this. Well, how do I move this thing? That's what this program is for. Over here, I'm opening up Mach 3 Loader. This will open up the program that actually controls the table. I'm gonna load my G-code, Horse Unicorn Prego H5, and there it is. The drawing, well not really, it's actually just lines and code. The files are in the computer. I'm gonna double check that my code actually matches. Here we have the 10 gauge, 65 amp. It's gonna be 125 volts as shown. And now I need to turn it on, motors on. I heard a click coming from over there. I'm gonna press E stop so that things turn green, fantastic. And now using the up, down, left and right and page up, I'm gonna control the machine. 12 seconds later. All right, I have the tip lined up with the bottom corner. I've added a couple extra pieces of metal here just in case the plasma cutter leaves here. I want it to remain grounded. Now let's go press zero on the screen. Move your mouse, press zero all, and now it matches here. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna lower my feed rate to 80. I don't want this running super fast, but this thing should go. Let's do a quick dry run by pressing dry run, just to make sure it works. Press run. It's gonna go through it, but without firing the plasma cutter. All right, that took a whole lot longer than I thought. Let's actually run the plasma cutter now. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's turn on the ventilation. Air. Plasma cutter. Double check that it's over 100 for the air. Perfect. And now we are ready to hit that run button and cut. All right, run. The abomination is complete. Now, issues that I see here. I think it cut more than I wanted it to. I probably could have checked my file a little bit better, but I just wanted to quickly show you how to use vectorization.org to convert your file to a vector image that I can then export as a DXF to the plasma cutter. So I think our pregnant unicorn camel here it might need some revision. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you think I should try cough drops before filming the next one, leave a thumbs up. I love you all. Goodbye.